guys, welcome to another episode of A Drummer's Guide 2. Today I wanted to talk about my top four investments that I've made in my playing. And um, these are the things that I've done for years that I feel have got me to the place that I want to be as a player, um, continue to get me to where I want to be, um, and have given me the, the greatest returns, basically. And I hope that this helps you as well um, if you want to be a just better at any instrument actually these work for any instrument so I'll get into it straight away rather than rambling because I'm sure there'll be plenty of that as we go on but the first thing the number one thing um, especially as a drummer although if you do invest in this as uh, another musician I will love you forever uh, and that first thing is a metronome so simple as a drummer we literally have one job to keep time. Number one job, biggest thing, keep time. So I've been playing to a metronome basically since I started playing drums. Um, it's, you know, it's so simple. When I was a kid, it was a, a little sort of like bit of plastic, basically, I had a little cork metronome. I had a Tamar rhythm watch for a while, which was a bit bigger and a bit more complex. Um, these days, I've got an app on my phone that I basically use. Um, and as I say, I, I do actually use it almost daily still. Uh, and yeah, I mean, as I say, it's a basic skill that every dr drummer should have. They should have good time and to do that well would be playing to a metronome. So very easy. First one, simple. The second investment that I would make uh, is basically a either a, like an Apple Music account subscription thing um, or a Spotify you could do the subscription, you could do the free version. Basically, just have access to tons of music. Again, when I started out, these things didn't exist. So it was more about, you know, you had to buy music and, and you, you couldn't have all the music in the world. Whereas these days, you literally can, which is amazing. So you can always be listening to new stuff. You can be playing along to stuff because that's the main thing that I used to do that I would recommend everyone do uh, as any sort of musician play along to music, play along to the kind of music that you enjoy, that you want to be playing and really hone that skill because, you know, it's, it's one thing playing in your bedroom by yourself, even playing to a metronome, that's all good and well. But if you can't practically put that to good use in the real world when you're playing with other musicians, it's completely useless. If you're playing to music, if you're playing to say you're playing to, I don't know, Let's say you're playing to John Mayer, right? John Mayer album, let's say the Continuum album, because that's one that's just coming to mind, because uh, I used to do that. <laughs> so if you're playing along to that, A, you're playing along with Steve Jordan, so you're locking in with him as a drummer. Also, you've got Pino Palladino on bass. So if you're locking in with Steve, who is locking in with Pino, then by default, you're also locking in with Pino. Amazing! So if you can kind of like get on that level and, and just get used to how that feels and, and what that entails, and then go to someone, you know, a completely different artist. Um, I don't know, go to Sly and the Family Stone and, and you want to be um, locking in with Andy Newmark and then all the musicians that are on that album or those albums or whatever. Uh, and then, you know, just keep doing that until you sort of really do lock in. You start to feel comfortable in the songs that you want to be playing to, the kind of music you want to be playing. And, and, and as I say, the amount of music out there is just incredible it's endless so uh yeah i think it's an amazing investment and as i say you can literally have a free spotify account and still get access to loads of stuff so you don't even need to pay for it um the third thing that i think is the best investment it probably should be number one but it wouldn't make well it would make sense but i like doing it in this kind of order uh the third thing is to invest in a little handheld recorder I've said this so many times. If you've watched any of my other videos, I'm sure I've mentioned it because I mentioned it all the time. A handheld recorder is literally the best thing any musician could invest in, like bar none. So anytime you're playing to your newly invested in metronome, any anytime you're playing to a song from Spotify or Apple Music or whatever, Record yourself playing to it. Record yourself and listen back. Don't just record yourself and leave it. Listen back and then play to it again. Record yourself, listen back. That is the quickest way that you can become the kind of player that you want to be. Uh, and, 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 and it's just, I can't stress enough. And again, it can be like a super cheap recorder. I'm not even sure. I'm sure that phones would have 
software that that will because uh, the problem is obviously drums are loud so um, so usually it would like uh, it would overload the the microphone but I, I so I'll show you exactly I've got this out this is from my drawer I didn't even know where it was before so I used to use this literally daily um, I still do use it occasionally it's just a little zoom uh, recorder um, equally they do these smaller ones that go straight into phones which are great uh, and I even bought this one at one point an iRig thing which again super duper affordable it just means that it doesn't overload so you can really hear what you're playing um, and how again you can check that you're locking in with those players on those albums you can check that you're locking in with the metronome by the way side note how you know if you're locking in with a metronome is that you can't hear it anymore so just a quick aside there um yeah so i'd say like something to record yourself on i i know that i had this studio here but honestly you don't need that like i never had that i had my little recorder in fact i had a tape dictaphone that i've desperately been trying to find but i think it's gone it's gone into the ether it hasn't gone into the ether it's probably gone into a landfill somewhere but you never know one day it might turn up i'm not sure where it could be now anyway the fourth and final thing that I think is the best investment for your career, for your playing, um, and you're gonna hate it. I hate it. Um, I say I hate it, I've come to terms with it. I used to absolutely hate this fourth thing, and it's super cheesy. Are you ready for this? The fourth thing is time. Lame, I know. Okay, what do I mean? I mean what I'm saying, basically. You just have to put in the time. You have to put in the work. You're not gonna, you know, pick up the sticks, be playing for three months and then be on a world tour. It's not how it works. And trust me when I say I've tried all the shortcuts or whatever, uh, I've tried to research ways to do things to make myself better, quicker. I used to listen to music whilst I was sleeping because I thought that that would, you know, get into my brain better. It turns out it just gives you a, like a worse night's sleep and you end up really grouchy the next day and you can do less with it. Uh, yeah, I've tried a lot of stuff to try and make things go quicker for me because I'm very impatient. Like, I can't even tell you. Like I said, I've gotten better now, but uh, yeah, time. It just takes time. It took me nine years from starting to play like literally picking up the sticks to making a full-time living it took nine years uh there is no quick answer you've just got to put in the work put in the time you know put in those eight hour practice days or more you need to be playing with as many bands as you can um and just giving yourself the most exposure the most opportunity and that way when the right time comes and a new opportunity presents itself you're ready because you know to do you know to do a tour for instance you can't just put in like a month's work beforehand from nothing you need to have had all those that, that those years experience beforehand lots of stuff going wrong and all that sort of stuff um and fixing it and learning things and 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 just dealing with people and being on stage and being comfortable and you know all these things it just takes time, it takes repetition, um, and yes, that's the, the, the final, probably quite annoying, last thing that I would invest in. So anyway, those are my four pence worth. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think the same? Maybe not. Maybe you think I'm mad. That's fine. Anyway, but I hope you're having a good day. I hope this has helped in some way, and um, that just rhymed, and I will be back next week with another subject if you have any uh, suggestions of topics you'd like me to cover please put them in the comments um and yeah anyway i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon all right see you later